Ladies and gentlemen, this is an article that came out in the New York Post, October 5th, 2018. If this is not disgusting, I don't know what is. Officer who fatally shot Tamir Rice hired as a cop again. It's just like Betty Shelby, y'all. You know, if we were really in a just, lawful system, a cop that fatally shoots an unarmed person, non-threatening, and you went to the most lethal form to just kill and straight out murder, especially this child. You should be barred from being a police officer anywhere else, but not in America. You can be the worst menacing, trolling police officer on the street and get a job somewhere else. And we all remember how Tamir Rice was killed in that park. The cop rolled up in jumped out the car. It wasn't even two seconds after he jumped out the car, he just shot him. Didn't try to talk to him, didn't dialogue with him. Even if you didn't know it was a toy gun, you don't know how to say, put the gun down, put that gun down, put your hands up, and then just dialogue with this child. No. Uh, and then they tried to say, Tamir Rice looked like he was 21. No, he doesn't. He looks like he was 12. You know, this is the kind of thing that turns many of us off about this whole system in America. The former Cleveland police officer who fatally shot 12-year-old Tamir Rice has been hired by a police department in a small Ohio village. The Times leader reports Bel Air police chief confirmed Friday he hired Timothy Lohman as a part-time officer. Richard Flanagan said Loman was never charged in Tamir's death and deserves a second chance. That's because your juries are rigged in America, okay? No, he was never charged, but he definitely should have been charged. But you make sure you get your goal rigged up uh, jurors in there to always say these officers are not guilty. That man didn't do his job. If he really did his job, he would have been able to handle a 12-year-old. Bel Air is a village, about 4,000. So it was about 4,000 people that lived there. Along the Ohio River, more than 150 miles south of Cleveland. Tamir was a black and was playing with a pellet gun outside a recreation center in 2014 when he was shot by Loman, who was white. You know, really should have went after the person that made that 911 phone call. You know, it goes back to all the phone calls that are being made on black people today. And as you can see, it was even going on then. Your kids can't even play in the park without some asshole sitting there itching to call the police on somebody. A grand jury declined to indict Loman. He was fired last year after it was discovered he was previously deemed unfit for duty. Okay, so if he was deemed unfit for duty, how did he get to be a cop in the first place? And how does he get to be a cop a second time, being that he was labeled unfit for duty? Only in America, y'all, only in America. We will never forget you, Tamir Rice. 
please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.